some whiskeys have famous drinkers? Oh, yeah, sure. You mean like uh, Blanton's and John Wick? I'm talking about real people, not characters in movies. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> That's Kermit the Frog. He's not real either. I thought we discussed this previously. <sighs> we, that he's real. We had a discussion. This has to be about real people. So, you know, like real celebrities. Okay, okay, I got you. So we're going to talk about real famous people. How about famous whiskeys, famous people like to drink? That sounds like a great plan. Right after this. Welcome to Whiskey Pop. My name is Jeff. And I'm Zane. And today we're going to talk about famous whiskeys drank by famous people. Real people. Real people. Yeah. You mean like uh, Martin Sheen? Yeah, I don't know what Martin Sheen might have drank. <laughs> How about Dean Martin? Ah, uh, Dean Martin. But before we do that, oh. we probably should crack open something. And today, we're going to share the love and prove that once and for all that Pine Saw is not the number one ingredient. In Canadian whiskey. That's right. Even though this was probably made in Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> You're ruining it! <laughs> so, let's crack this open. But what is this while I crack it this is, said whiskey It open? is Pop's Famous Canadian Whiskey. Now, the neat thing about this whiskey is, one, it's fairly new. New enough that there's not a lot of reviews out there on this. That is right. And so, without going into 100 details, it is something like they get whiskey out of Canada and finish it in Austin, right? That's right. So, the, 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 the short, short, short version of this is Canadian whiskey brought to the States. They blend it and barrel it here, and then it gets turned into this. If you want to know more about that, watch... Second pour on Friday. On Friday. In the meantime... Let's taste this. Okay. I mean, I really can't complain so much, so. No, I can't complain. All right, so let's, let's talk. All right, so today we're gonna talk about famous whiskeys drank by famous, famous people. people. Yeah, and so I was joking around, but obviously we're gonna say first off, let's say Dean Martin. I think the only reason why I got into this cape is so I could see you again. Sounds like a hell of a price and I agree with you. I'm worth it. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a movie. You, you've been playing, you've been playing greater than ever, Lewis. Oh, thank you there, Deanie. Go on back to the bottle, get drunk. One thing though, Somebody throws a dollar in a spittoon. Don't expect me to do something about it. Just get down on your knees and go after it. I, I want to thank you for stopping, son, because we always stop the ambulance. I'm of a hurry, so if you could just bless it. And then... Oh, I got to bless her. Dean Martin. Okay, Dean Martin's the obvious, right? Yeah, I mean, I know he's an older celebrity in the world of... The historical celebrities. You know what's crazy though is I wondered, I bet Gen Z even is aware who Dean Martin is. Now think about yeah. the type of legacy you leave behind if you even know it's just some drunk guy that my grandparents watched. It would have been that or you know the roasts and all that that he was part of. Yeah we've watched tons of those in, in late nights on YouTube right? Yeah yeah I mean but even even things like the Rat Pack itself. I mean there wouldn't have been the Brat Pack of the 80s if it went for the Rat Pack in the 40s right? I mean there, there you go and we're talking megastar. Yeah, I mean, Dean Martin in his time. Yeah. You know, he was right up there with one of our other picks that we're going to talk about. But he he literally was the epitome of the guy who walked around with a drink right. all the time. All, all the time. Exactly. And it seems like he liked J&B Rare Scotch. See, now, he was known for being... The public drunk? The Kind of like the public drunk. And, and then you're saying... It was staged. It was Staged? Yeah, so Dean Martin, most of his, they say, that most of that was an act. That's funny. But so he was able to pull off the public drunk really well. I mean, 
there even today there are guys that that's their shtick i mean it, it's pretty common but i think this is the guy who started it yeah, honestly, probably he honestly. really is the guy who started it and then on top of that i mean dean martin was known for his music for his, his acting and, and all those things but it is true one thing that stands out is dean martin ability to drink yeah that's so, right all right so our next fella yeah Seems to run around the same group in the as, same crowd, and it, you can't list famous whiskey drinkers without listing these guys. So it's another one of the Rat Pack, the leader of the Rat Pack. Oh, Frankie boy, Blue Eyes himself, Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Good morning. My name is Frank Sinatra. Luck be a lady tonight. And who asked you to sit down? Get up. She insisted upon diving in the pool. And when she hit the water, the wine hit her. Why aren't you a girl? Why aren't you a girl? If you don't know that, and it shouldn't make any difference. At all. Yeah, now, look, I know that, again, we're talking about somebody who may not seem relevant until you start realizing their influence into pop culture. I mean, how many movies have you ever seen that's got a Frank Sinatra song in it? Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. And so that in itself is is a legacy left outside the fact he did like Jack Daniels. He, not only did he like Jack Daniels, I honestly believe that in the, the last hundred years, he really put Jack Daniels on the map. Now, it wasn't like Jack Daniels wasn't a popular whiskey before Frank Sinatra. Yeah. But when you got somebody with the power of Frank Sinatra saying, this is a gentleman's drink, Jack Daniels. Hey, <laughs> if I'm gonna go buy Jack, guess which one I get? <laughs> Gentleman Jack. Jack. Yay! <laughs> oh. That's right, and, and he's so famous, and, and that even uh, Jack Daniels himself made an actual whiskey named after him, which was, I think, the Sinatra, what was it? The, uh, oh, Sinatra Select. The Sinatra, your whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your whiskey. It's not your whiskey. <laughs> Now, I've even heard, doing some research, that he was buried with a pack of camels, because he was always smoking. He died of lung cancer. Oh, I didn't need to know that. Thank you. He, he, he pack of camels, a Zippo lighter. Ten um, dimes. Ten dollars. Yeah. Ten, ten dimes. I read and, your notes, too. That's right. I'm glad you read those notes. <laughs> Makes it easier to do these kind of things. And a bottle of Jack Daniels. So, the next movie that Whiskey Pop is putting out is The Adventures of... <laughs> <laughs> Steal the mojo of Frank Sinatra by stealing his whiskey. Stealing his whiskey. I wonder, that would be a really fun movie to make. Yeah, zoom the body of Frank Sinatra. To get his whiskey. To get his whiskey to, to absorb get his, mo his mojo. Absor absorb his mojo. We would be really cool. Yeah, yeah, it would be great, but okay, anyway. All right, so our next one on the list. All right. A female. Okay, okay. A female drinker. Our are there a lot of female drinkers? You know, it's starting to seem like there's a lot more female whiskey drinkers out there than we talk about. Yeah, this is pretty cool though. This one is Christina Hendricks. Yeah. He said he knew you. He said it was a surprise. A surprise? Well, thank you for that. Here's a surprise. Go! Surprise! There's an airplane here to see you. You need to cut him from his forehead. It's classic, it's bold, it's Johnny Walker, and you ordered it. Now, Christina Hendricks, she's been in, what was it, the uh, Good Girls TV series, and before that, she had been in this yeah. little TV series. This time, I'm a man. man. A mad man, man. Yeah, I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously she's gorgeous. You yeah, know, she's... super smart, and just really a good actress, but in the show Mad Men, she was started dating, I think her, at the time, was her husband, and he drank a lot of scotch, and she yeah. just thought how cool it was to see her husband order a scotch. Johnny Walker to be that. Yeah. Okay. And she started trying it. Next thing you know, she became a huge scotch fan. So, I guess uh, showbiz came to reality in this case. In, in this case, it did. And luckily, she hasn't, you know, expounded too much on how much she really likes black and blue <laughs> Johnny Walker. I can tell you everything she. about black and blue Johnny Walker, <laughs> but, you know, I'm not being bougie. Not no. on this show. <laughs> Next one, another female. Okay, yes. A more modern female like Christina Hendricks. Yep. Uh, Mila Kunis. Shut up, Meg. Oh my God, you guys, guess who's going to be in the Miss Dairy Princess pageant? Bueno, a cow? <laughs> no. Me! Did Steven say I'm not his type? 
I'm everybody's type. That's my thing. You know, Jackie, I think maybe um, Hyde's moved on. No, 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 no. You don't just move on from Jackie Burkhart. I'm like the bottle. You need a 12-step program to break my spell. Oh, this is gonna be great! We'll stay up late, trade stories. <gasps> Ooh, let's watch the video of my ballet recital. Here it is! <gasps> Sunshine Bear! Wait! I'm sure this wasn't in my contract. Now, let's clarify. She's the spokesperson for, for Jim Beam. For Jim Beam. She yeah. does love Jim Beam, but she's also the spokesperson for Jim Beam. So, it seems like she kind of paid that way, but she has stated she was not a whiskey drinker before that. Right, and it was because she met, like, the great-great-grandson. She met the great-grandson of, of Mr. Beam. Beam himself. And he introduced her. Was this her, Noah? Last name Noah? Fred No. No, Fred No. There we go. And he introduced so her to pre prohibition whiskeys that he had in his own personal stash. How cool is that? Be? I mean, holy shit. You got the whiskey that your grandpa made. That's pretty cool. That is. When nobody cool. was supposed to have any. <laughs> so, famous person. And does she <coughs> outright say she likes whiskey now? Oh, she does like whiskey now. She really feels like females are not being uh, advertised to for whiskey. Oh. That women don't necessarily want girly drinks. Yeah. And that, that's kind of been her thing. I gotcha. Our next one. Yeah, this guy. Most people know this guy as... Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson. His real name is Nick Offerman. You ready? I was born ready. I'm Ron Swanson. I like saying no. It lowers their enthusiasm. Once I know about other people's affairs, the happier I am. I'm not interested in caring about people. I once worked with a guy for three years and never learned his name. Best friend I ever had. I don't know what inferior swill this is, but I ordered a lock of hula. Today is the day we've waited for. Will you run and hide? No! No! Or will you stand and fight? No! That they can take your lives, but they can never take our peace! No! Lock of hula. The Offerman Edition. There can be only one. He is a lover of Lagavulin. He loves scotch. Yeah, you know. scotch, scotch, scotch. <laughs> so he's in, he's even done a YouTube channel, kind of documenting his time with Lagavulin, developing his own whiskey That's from there. Cool. Yeah, uh, I think he's a twelve-year whiskey that you can buy. I think it runs around one hundred twenty bucks generally for that whiskey. So once again, the celebrity's screwing up our whiskey prices. Banging the prices up and higher. <laughs> but he is a big whiskey drinker, and you know, he's married to a, a gal from Oklahoma. I did not know that. Megan Mullally, Mullally? <laughs> yeah, she's from Oklahoma, from Oklahoma City, so he's got good taste in whiskey and women. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right, so our last one. Yeah. All right, you little monsters, we didn't forget you. Yeah. Our last one's Lady Gaga. Now this one I did not expect. No, because you know, to, to make the spoiler, she drinks Jameson. Jameson Irish whiskey while writing one of her albums. She drank a lot of it. Yeah. Neat. Yes, which yeah. is pretty great. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. I mean, it makes Gaga kind of really cool. Not that she wasn't cool by herself, but really yeah. cool. Yeah. On top of that, I guess a few years ago, she pissed off cancel culture. Yeah. Because she said uh, that when she would be invited to go to these fancy dinners with executives because they're trying to get her to sign with them. Yeah that she would only drink a whiskey neat and not eat dinner. Right, and she also then mentioned that it's dangerous to drink whiskey on an empty stomach. Yeah, and then on top of that, so then the people who were sensitive about being eating disorders and stuff thought she was just promoting like, eating disorder. Yeah, like how <laughs> dare you because an empty stomach can drink. I, she was promoting how to be successful by not getting focused, losing focus on what yeah, you're there for. Yeah, don't let somebody wine and dine you out yeah. of your future. It's one of those things that, I mean, I, I get it, but Lady Gaga, I mean, that's, that's yeah. impressive, right? Yeah, for sure. It says a lot about her character and the way she drinks. Yeah. Did we miss somebody that you know is a famous drinker who loves whiskey? And did we miss a famous person who may not really like whiskey, but are just trying to make money on it because they're a celebrity? Oh, oh there's a lot of those. Celebrity whiskey. Celebrity, we should like do a whole episode on celebrity whiskey one yeah. day. But hey, 
if you can think of somebody that's super famous that we missed and yeah let us know down below yeah, let us know you know or is there a whiskey that you think that we named today that you didn't know that that celebrity loved that whiskey so much yeah does that change the way you feel about that whiskey right you know, because it does seem like a celebrity says something about whiskey and everybody's buying it. Even like Bill fucking Murray. For relaxing times. Make it Suntory time. Boston <laughs> translation, man. Yeah, if it's not, it's the Suntory time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now you can't even find an H. Stephen whiskey. Yeah, we love Bill Murray, though. But you know what? Hey, Bill, just bring the Ghostbusters movie out and we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be good. In the meantime, you guys continue to be geeky this week, and we'll see you next week for another Whiskey Pop episode. And this week, and this week, and this and week. And cheers. <laughs>